Oh, it's that time of year again, guys. I hope it's a shanty Christmas. Lauren, more shanty snow, please. Thank, Thank you. you. So in the spirit of the season, we have a really cool project for you guys. We've designed a three-tool console table. So here's the three tools that you got to put under that Christmas tree. Tool yep. one. Number one. The nailer. Number two. A drill. And last but not least, you got to get the saw. So let's show them how it's done. We're going to build a console table. Along with those three tools, you're also going to need 13 1 by 4 by 8 pine boards. You also need four casters and eight metal corner pieces and some paint, glue, and you're ready to go. First step is to make all of your cuts. You can get the exact measurements for these cuts on our website, Download Plans. So now that we have all of our cuts made, we're going to start building this table. Step one, build your legs. These look like L's. Ash is putting together one right now. You're gonna put one board on top of the other one and we're gonna put some wood glue and use some nails. All right, that's it for one leg. It makes an L just like that. So you're gonna do four of them. We've got our legs built, now it's time to build the frames. We like to lay all of our planks for the tabletops out first and measure that to get the exact cut we need for those long aprons. So we've laid our planks out for the tabletop and we're just gonna go and add the frame pieces. You're just going to attach the short side apron pieces to the long apron pieces. And to assemble it, we're just gonna use wood glue and we're gonna shoot nails right through there. Okay, we're repeating the process now, guys, for this bottom shelf. This is the top shelf. It doesn't matter, but this is the top, because she said the other one was the bottom. We're gonna add the planks on the top now. Ash is running a line of glue around the whole thing. Make sure to use glue, because the nails aren't gonna hold real well. The glue is what really holds the wood together. Lay our planks on top, make sure none of them are cattywampus, and nail them in place. We love building pieces like this because they're so easy, but they can add so much character to your room. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. You don't want to miss a single project we have coming up. All right, that one's done. Yep. So we're going to do the bottom shelf first, and then we'll turn it upside down and attach that top shelf. Bam. Now flip the whole thing over on top of your other shelf. That'll be your top shelf, and attach those the same way using wood glue and nails. Now we're ready for, for feet. Foot pads. Foot pads. It's foot pad time. <laughs> okay, Ash, you put the foot pads on and I'm gonna go spray paint the hardware so that can be drying while we get finished up. All right, I'm adding these little rectangles to the bottom of the console table and these are the foot pads. And then the casters that Whitney's spray painting right now is what we're going to attach to these foot pads. All right, we finished building this, so we're gonna flip it over and we're going to give it one coat of stain. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it's time for hardware and we're gonna be using our third Christmas present, the drill, to add these. We got some cute little corner pieces at the hardware store. Just shanty this piece up a little bit. Screws are silver, but that's okay because we can go back afterwards and touch those up with a little black paint. Well, great job, sis. That table looks really good in my house. Sure does. And the best thing about a console table is that you can put it in almost every room of your house. That is true. So guys, and the better part, we have a ton of three tool projects on our site. So you buy those three tools, they're really the gift that keeps giving. More shady snow, please. Thank you. Oh, I said thank you, I'm sorry. <laughs>